Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have polishes to share with you from Victorian Varnish. These are their July releases. So we have the clog of the month, we have a special polish in there which is going to be starting a new series and then of course we have a continuation of a previous series that I shared with my June Victorian Varnish video. I'm excited to share all of these with you so let's get into the swatches. We're going to start off with the July Cog of the Month. So this is going to be priced at $12. Um, and with all of the Cog of the Month, Victorian Varnish always has a um, collective sticker that comes with it. So I'll show you that next. But this one is uh, this one is called Shella Cute and Turtly Awesome. It's a reflective polish. It has teal, green, gold, multi-chrome uh, pigment with scattered hollow and silver reflective glitters. This one had a fantastic formula. I know sometimes with reflective glitter or polishes that have reflective glitter in them, they can tend to lean on the thicker side and sometimes be a little more difficult to work with. But I didn't have any issues with this formula. It was not too thick, not too thin. I built it up to full opacity in just two coats. So I think long or short nails, two coats is going to work fine for you. It is going to dry down textured, so you're going to want to use a glitter smoother and then your glossy top coat over it. So just keep that in mind but look at that sparkle and the twinkle i love that teal and that green um, shift that this polish has i feel like this is an all year round polish for the summertime because you have some bright green and some blue in there and then even for the the winter as well um i know i say this all the time but like i feel like i see you know when i when when i think of winter i think of blue polishes and um, i can see myself wearing this one in the winter as well pictured our two coats of the cog of the month shella cute and totally awesome with a glossy top coat and just to remind you i always just top my polishes off with a glossy top coat when i'm swatching that's because i swatch very quickly so it doesn't really give the polish a lot of time to sort of dry down to that super super textured look um, but if i mention to use a glitter smoother or any of that sort before then just keep you know just take my word for it here is the sticker that you will get with the polish cog of the month so the sticker always relates to the polish so as you can see this is a little turtle i'm always intrigued and i really really do love the victorian varnish stickers i just feel like they always look so realistic i always love the hollow and the sparkle that they give off as well but this little sea turtle is cute we have a new series coming to Victorian Varnish, uh, the VV Mascots. So not too sure how many of these polishes or just the, the frequency just yet, but this one's going to be the first installment. Um, it's going to be released over at Polish and Beauty Expo, which will be next week. And then on August 1st on the Victorian Varnish website. All right. And it's priced at $13. Um, and this one is called Owl Lavender. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, it's a teal base with Aurora Shimmer ranging from pink, peach, bronze, and gold. The formula was fantastic. I achieved opacity in just two coats. I think long or short nails, two coats is gonna be fine for you, honestly. I love the shiftiness, all the shifty polishes that Victorian Varnish creates. It just, you literally see what is described. I see the pink, I see the bronze, I see the peach, and I see the gold in this beautiful, beautiful teal base. Even though I feel like it leans a little more green, you can definitely see the, the teal underneath, but because you have all of this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer just blending all in, of course you're gonna get an array of different colors and you know it's gonna play tricks on your to your eyes. Regardless, I think it's a gorgeous color with a fantastic formula. Pictured our two coats of Owl Lavender, I think I'm saying that right, with a glossy top coat. Here is the mascot sticker. Um, I don't know too many details about the sticker and the and like in relation to like the polish, if, if you'll get it with the polish or anything like that. So I'll make sure to leave information down below when I do find out. But this one is just absolutely adorable. It looks so realistic. Like look at the eyes. Can you see that? Like there's so much depth. <laughs> like you can see the little goggles and everything. It's just the cutest little owl. And then of course you get the little sparkle and you get the hollow as well. All right, everybody. Now this is the 
series that I talked about in my last Victorian varnish video. Um, this is round two, so part two. So these are four polishes in this series. These are the summer polishes. Um, the previous ones were Lancaster's Luck and Kaleidoscope City. So there's going to be six in total, but these are four new ones. All right. Um, this whole series is actually going to also be available on um, at PB, Polish Beauty Expo, but it's also available on the website. First one being Landing Portal. This one is described as a bright aqua teal with a heaping dose of large particle shimmers ranging in green, gold, aqua, teal, and blue. And it's very, very sparkly on the nails and I am living for that. This is a beautiful polish for the summertime, beautiful for the winter. It just reminds me of a pool that is sparkling in the sunshine. You know when you have a pool and the, the sun just hits it the right way and it just sparkles? That's that on that that is this on the nails. This is a gorgeous polish with a fantastic formula. I feel like every time I paint my nails or I swatch my, you know, swatch my nails with a Victorian varnish polish, I just get more and more impressed every single time like there's no pooling it's it's easy to work with the brushes are fantastic and just like the formulas are just amazing this is a beauty pictured a heart two coats of landing portal with a glossy top coat the next polish in this series is intergalactic planetarium and this one is a bright neon pink with a violet blue roar shimmer blue to black multi-chrome flakies and pink gold peach ghost flaky so lots going on and a gorgeous another gorgeous polish on the nails now this one let me tell you everybody this one is super super bright it's super fun very summer appropriate for sure if you love pink if you love neons if you love bright polishes this is this is for you i'm in love with that aurora shimmer it just gives that glow from within with this polish and as bright as this polish is that aurora shimmer does not disappear within within it um, just because you have you have this bright blue violet aurora shimmer you have this bright neon pink and they both just blend very well together it sort of gives like this hint of light on the nails as well um, i love the multi-chrome flakies in here i love the various shapes and sizes it gives you sort of like a a speckled look but maybe like a more modern speckled look just very different i love speckled polishes um, but this one obviously is is not your classic speckled polish because there's different sizes right and you have multi-chrome and you know all these ghost flakies that sort of like shift but it's a beautiful beautiful polish i think long or short nails two to three coats will work best for you you saw that i achieved opacity in two coats and i was fine with that on my shorter nails pictured our two coats of intergalactic planetarium with a glossy top coat here we have Spacecraft Sparkle. This one is also another reflective. Um, this one the maker had a hard time describing, but I'm going to read the description that I have in the PR info. So a vintage neutral tone vase, violet, blue, and silver reflective diamond glitters with large particle aurora shimmer in green teal aqua and an assortment of hollow and regular glitters. Now that is a mouthful, guys. That is a mouthful, but I think... I think that does a very great job of explaining this polish. I built this one up in two coats. I think long or short nails, two to three coats is going to work best for you. It'll just depend on your preference. Um, I can see longer nails doing three coats and I think that's fine. Um, but look at how sparkly this one is. There's so much going on and I'm loving it. I love my kitchen sink polishes. The Victorian Varnish does a great job with incorporating so many different ingredients and components in their polishes, but still making things look very cohesive and put together. This is giving me OPI Teenage Dream, right? Teenage Dream vibes, which they look different, but it's just because of that pale pink that you see and all the sparkliness. It's just giving me those vibes. They're not the same at all, um, but it's just because of the color and the sparkliness pictured are two coats of spacecraft sparkle with a glossy top coat and the last polish that i have to share with you all is molten centrifuge this one is a magnetic it's a deepened base um, with a bright golden magnet um, and when, when you magnetize it it reveals this gorgeous pink gold pink peach gold bronze large particle shimmer 
um, I didn't do this in the velvet effect but I really want to because oh my gosh I just have a feeling that it's gonna look beautiful so I just did the classic you know regular bar magnet magnet under the nail which is the way that I usually prefer to do it but I've been dying to do a velvet magnet mani not just with this specifically but just with magnetic polishes I built this one up in two coats which i was very impressed usually magnetic polishes require um, a third coat just to really you know put everything all together um, i know sometimes when you go into a third coat with darker polishes with magnetic sometimes you don't get as strong as a magnetic line or a magnetic pull not the case with this one i think if you do thinner coats maybe you know three coats would be good but honestly i think two coats on everybody is going to work out fine I love this mysterious sort of cat eye look that this polish gives you. This would be beautiful for the fall time. And honestly, like I can see people wearing this in the summer if you really wanted to. Obviously, there's no rules with polish, but it still has that lovely bright golden effect, even though you have a more deeper, darker base. Um, that magnetic pull that you see is really going to shine through. Pictured our two coats of molten centrifuge with a glossy top coat. All right, everybody, I do have a few standouts, actually two standouts for this month. I am loving this polish, um, Intergalactic Planetarium, of course. I mean, check this out. It is super bright and fun. Just that beautiful, like electric violet blue shimmer in here. I feel like I've been looking at a lot of polishes or just like the the like polishes that have this electric vibrant blue shimmer in them have really been catching my eye lately i don't know i feel like my polish taste is changing a little bit because i've been really into like glowy not as opaque polishes and then of course i've always liked my brights and my um and my like vampire colors but i don't know something about this electric blue vibrant like aurora shimmer it's just it's been eye catching the past few weeks and then of course this one here this is a molten centrifuge i am not really like the biggest fan of magnetic polishes like i really it really needs to look the right way for me <laughs> and this one love it i love how you get a deeper base but then you still see that beautiful bright gold gold shade in the center um, i feel like this is gonna look so great in the fall time and honestly i think like end of summer going into fall or even in the summer too just because just because it does have this more brighter uh, magnetic strip or magnetic pull i want to try this in it's in like a velvet magnetic form all right that is all that i have for you today let me know if you plan on picking up any of these polishes they are all currently available except for one um i'll make sure to leave all the information down below Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next one.